You can take Ferguson. You can take Eric Garner in New York. You can take any of these national cases, and I will submit to you that the worst police shooting in the United States of America occurred about 10 miles away when Charles Kleiner murdered Larry Jackson Jr. When a city loses its diversity, it begins to lose its soul. And Austin is the only large growing city in the country that is losing African American population on an absolute basis. It's about holding someone responsible. I can't change my color. I was born this way. And other black people can't change their color either. Mayor Atner, what are your plans to correct the over-policing of the African American community? I feel like the city of Austin has a better no-kill policy. When people get fed up enough, and when they come together and they start to move forward, that's when there's movement. That's what we're seeing right now. We are not attempting to sway public favor on the scene as far as what happened. We are doing our best to give you the information that you as a community have a right to know. In order to fix the challenge that the city has, it's going to require us to address the underlying economic issues. And we're now trying to put together programs that would do that. We have a 10-1 council that's bringing in disparate voices from all over the city. There were communities in this city that in past times were feeling uninvolved and disengaged. And that's not the case anymore. There are voices on this council saying things that were not heard on the dais in a long time, if ever. And so it's up to you to contact your city council member and say that black lives do matter to you and that you want their help in solving this problem. I can't solve it by myself. We claim, Father God, that we will have victory, Father I think we're going to end up with stronger solutions and better solutions when all those voices are present. I have, I have a lot of hope. We've been in the back far too long, and now it's time for us to take a stand. You all should we can hope and dream and march and have these experiences as, as much as we want. I think that's fuel, actually, for the movement. But at the end of the day, we need to have policy change. In every crisis, there is a message. Gentrification is actually happening. We're being pushed out. And until we're a priority, until black lives, brown lives, are a priority, you know, there's little hope for me. We need to have these policies reflect this experience. It's a win-win situation if they can both actually work together. Trayvon Martin. Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray. Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland. Sophia King. Sophia King.